Class 9, Beehive English, Chapter 8, Reach for the Top, by Santosh Yadav. Thinking about the text. 1. Answer these questions in one or two sentences each. The paragraph numbers within bracket provides clue to the answer. 1. Why was the holy man who gave Santosh mother his blessing surprised? 1. 2. Give an example to show that even as a young girl, Santosh was not ready to accept anything unreasonable. 2. 3. Why was Santosh sent to the local school? 3. 4. When did she leave home for Delhi and why? 5. Why did Santosh's parents agree to pay for her schooling in Delhi? What mental qualities of Santosh are brought into light by this incident? Answer 1. The holy man was surprised because he had assumed that Santosh's mother wanted a son, but grandmother told him that they did not want a son. 2. Santosh, from the very beginning, lived life on her own terms. She was not content with the traditional ways of life and was not ready to accept anything unreasonable. Where other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred socks. 3. Even though Santosh's parents could afford to send her children to the best school, she was sent to the local village school due to the prevailing uh, customs in the family. 4. When she turned 16 and was under pressure to get married, Santosh threatened her parents that she would never marry if she did not get proper education. Therefore, she left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. 5. When Santosh parents refused to pay for her education, she politely informed them of her plans to earn money by working part-time to, to pay her school fees. Then her parents agreed to pay for her schooling in Delhi. This shows that Santosh was a mentally strong girl and was determined to work very hard to get herself properly educated. 2. Answer each of these questions in a short paragraph about 30 words. 1. How did Santosh begin to climb mountains? 2. What incident during the Everest expedition shows Santosh's concerns for her teammates? 3. What shows her concern for the environment? 4. How does she describe her feelings at the summit of the Everest? 5. Santosh Yada got into the record books both times she scaled Mount Everest. What were the reasons for this? Answer. 1. From her room in Kasturba Hostel, she watched people going up the Aravali Hills and vanishing after a while. On investigating, she found nobody except a few mountaineers and she asked if she could join them. They agreed and even motivated her to take to climbing and so she later accompanied them on their, their climbing expedition. This was how she began climbing mountains. 2. During the Everest mission, Santosh showed immense concern for her fellow climbers. Though she was unsuccessful in saving the life of one of them, she did manage to save another climbers through artificial respiration. 3. Santosh was a fervent environmentalist. Her concern for the environment is evident from the fact that she collected and brought down 500 kilograms of garbage from the Himalayas. 4. Santosh asserted that her feelings at the summit of the Everest was indescribable. Unfurling the Indian flag on the top of the world was a spiritual movement for her and she felt proud as an Indian. 5. When Santosh Yadav first scaled Mount Everest, Everest, she became the youngest woman in the world to achieve the feat. When she scaled the Everest the second time, she became the only woman to have scaled it twice. Complete the following statements. 1. From her room in Kasturba Hostel, Santosh used to. 2. When she finished her college, Santosh had to write a letter for, of apology to her father because dash. 3. During the F Everest expedition, her seniors in the team admired her dash while endured her to fellow climbers. Answer. 1. From her room in Kasturba Hostel, Santosh used to watch villagers going up the hill and suddenly vanish after a while. 2. When she finished college, Santosh had to write a letter of apology to her father because she had got herself enrolled at Uttakashi's 
Nehru Institute of Mountaineering without his permission. Three. During the Everest expedition, a senior in the team admired her climbing skills, physical fitness, and mental strength, while her concern for others and desire to work together with them and reared her to fellow climbers. Four. Pick out the words from the text that means the same as the following words or expressions, like in the paragraph indicated. 1. Took to be true without proof. 1. 2. Based on reason, sensible, reasonable. 2. 3. The usual way of doing things. 3. 4. A strong desire arising from within. 5. 5. The power to endure without falling ill. 7. Answer. 1. Took to be true without proof. 1. Assumed. 2. Based on reason, sensible, reasonable to rational. 3. The usual way of doing things. 3. Custom. 4. A strong desire arising from within. 5. Urge. 5. The power to endure without falling ill. 7. Resistance. Thinking about the language. 1. Identify two parts in the sentence below by underlining the part that gives us the information in brackets. 1. Where other girls were traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred shots. Contrast her dress with that of others. 2. She left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. Tell us what happened after the first section. 3. She decided to fight the system when the right moment arrived. Tell us when she was going to fight the system. 4. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off to train in the United States. Tell us when Maria was sent to the U.S. Answers 1. When other girls wore traditional Indian dresses, Santosh preferred shorts. 2. She left home and got herself enrolled in a school in Delhi. 3. She decided to fight the system when the right moment arrived. 4. Little Maria had not yet celebrated her 10th birthday when she was packed off the train in the United States. 2. Now rewrite the pairs of sentences given below as one sentence. 1. Grandfather told me about the old days. All books were printed on paper then. 2. What do you do after you finish the book? Perhaps you just throw it away. 3. He gave the little girl an apple. He took the computer apart. Four. You have nothing that makes you very determined. 5. I never thought of quitting. I knew what I wanted. Answer. 1. Grandfather told me about the old days when all books were printed on paper. 2. After finishing the book, perhaps you just throw it away. 3. He gave the little girl an apple and took the computer apart. 4. Having nothing makes you very determined. Why, I never thought of quitting as I knew what I wanted.